We have some huge news today, ladies and gentlemen. Rejoice. Woo! We're doing better than Clash Royale. <laughs> so, unlike Clash Royale, Brawl Stars is currently looking for the community's opinions on uh, many different things, actually. Not just this, and not even just this. Three different things they're asking our opinion for right now, which is insane. If you like having an opinion, then uh, in my opinion, you should subscribe. So, yeah, hold on. You're looking a bit low. Let me raise you up. <laughs> there you go. We are looking to improve Power League. Share what you like, what you dislike, and any improvement suggestion you have in mind, even if it's a complete rework of the mode. Jeez. We don't have anything planned yet for this in upcoming updates though so it might take a while to see any changes the fact that they're saying say anything even if it's a rework is kind of nuts let's just look through a couple of these before we move on if we sort our brawlers based on their power levels then while we suggest our teammates brawlers they should also be sorted on their power level if you try to switch a brawler with your teammate you should be able to see his power level also make it so only power level nine brawlers and above can be played i'm tired of seeing those nine-year-old idiots picking a power level one hank not wrong mastery titles for all power league ranks so you can show off your highest rank that would be pretty sick and they're basically saying that there should be more like little rewards that you can get as you win haven't seen this mention make it so you can suggest gadgets star powers and gears power league is by far the most competitive form of gameplay in brawl stars but some people are better in some roles than others i'd add an option for players to have better odds of being first second and third pick in their team depending on which one they prefer but the matchmaking is kind of crap and the winning team ends up being the one that used to have masters because the rest of power league reset a lot of people are saying that there's not a ton of incentive to play power league which i agree if i don't really like the skin then i usually miss it because i just don't want to play power league i actually don't think it's that fun but i'm surprised i'm not seeing many people talk about like win trading and people throwing like that i feel like people just don't get banned for that i know there's a report button but it happens so often to so many people and i'm sure you watching this have probably had it happen to you where somebody in your game literally throws on purpose from the very beginning so i hope there's something they can do about that but i don't know what they will do what they could do we'll have to wait and see but now they want us to tell them our balance change opinions who should get buffed and nerfed and changed and why and who's the most frustrating brawler to play against them specifically asking who's the most frustrating could be good because maybe they want to make those brawlers less frustrating if so pog champ buff bull i don't know how but he's just bad that's very true he's kind of terrible right now especially in the shelly meta no bueno well definitely do something for hank it's impossible to play that brawler right now he is pretty bad yeah a lot of people are talking about hank he's apparently absolutely terrible right now you did great with balancing gadgets and star powers but he forgot to buff and rework a couple of them rt's first gadget if that's the one i'm thinking of it sucks jeans is second gadget it's uh the ventral spirits that one's also pretty bad sam's second star power that one's also terrible bonnie's second star power yeah all these still suck and i think that they should just completely change them like remove them and add something new nerf cordelius i agree agree they should especially just rework his gadget the one that silences you i think it's ridiculous i don't think that you should have somebody else's super in a gadget especially on a brawler like that i think that's just a bit too far i don't know about you guys that's how i feel though am i the only one who isn't motivated to play once they reach tier 70 probably not i feel like most people aren't there's really no reason to do it you don't get much i mean you get five credits like i personally don't need credits so i don't care that much about finishing the pass or continuing after i do that because i get the skin and then i'm like okay i'm done and obviously i play this game for my job but i pretty much only play it when i'm recording because i don't want to burn myself out there's not much of a reason to play after you reach the end tier lost my free to play license credited to candy t22 on 4th of august 2023 i spent three dollars because <laughs> uh oh shelly might be staying how she is i know some people are really sad about that i'm kind of happy about it at the same time she's becoming pretty annoying so i'm indifferent if she gets nerfed or buffed or whatever but uh an official supercell guy adrian basically shook hands with arc when uh, he said please leave shelly exactly where she is she's perfect so i don't think we're gonna be getting rid of the shelly meta anytime soon raw stars devs after adding <laughs> they are just mm, money so my teammates decided that they didn't want to play for no reason so i pulled a 1v3 knockout pog champ good job why is it so high up are you seeing this can't wait for blind and nostalgia to make everyone vote siege then as soon as it's out everyone's gonna remember why they hate it you know what no i actually think that people are gonna love it it has been so long since it's even been in the game there's so many new brawlers there's so many new strategies and with the whole thing about the game being based on lanes for such a long time and people getting better at that and everything i 
actually think that Siege could become a permanent mode after this because of one simple reason. It's an expansion. Every map in this game is pretty much the same size, but Siege changes that. I'm pretty sure it used to be even larger, but I just hope that people end up loving it for how it is right now. So then it becomes permanent because to be honest, like I feel like it's going to be fun. Skin idea. Jackie, a Doug skin. That's pretty sick, bro. Don't forget, you also got to give this to RT as well. I love it when a brawler has a mini Otis Super as a gadget. That's so fun to play against. I lose one brain cell every time I get hit by that gadget. Eventually, there's going to be nothing left. What do you think about this? Which game is better? Brawl Stars or Minecraft? Brawl Stars is at 4%. The guy also has a Lava Bucket profile picture. I still think this is accurate no matter what. Minecraft is the biggest game in the world. And in my opinion, it's the best game in the world. I don't think that Brawl Stars would be better than Minecraft in really any way. There's no chance, dude. You're comparing a mobile game that's pretty big to the biggest game in the entire world. It's not gonna win. No other game is gonna beat Minecraft in polls like this. It's not possible. Gears are a problem. They're not gonna do this. The problem. Right now, it seems Supercell has pigeonholed themselves into a gear system that just isn't going to produce enough unique gears for all the brawlers. The distribution of epic gears seems purely random and inconsistent, so this aims to fix it. On second thought, this might actually be a good post. Some changes before we start. Vision gear is being changed to an epic gear so it is being removed from all brawlers and 1000 gold is refunded for each brawler that had the vision gear purchased so what this is basically saying is uh like okay vision gear doesn't work on el primo vision gear doesn't work on bull vision gear doesn't work on sam like you don't need it on those brawlers so it'll just go to a specific class like sharpshooters or whatever the heck they call that these days which makes sense like you do not need the vision gear option on el primo i got it for a meme and i use it for a meme way more than i should actually <laughs> hunter gear movement speed is increased by 10 percent at full M. Oh, yo, that's pretty cool. That might be an overreaction, but I actually really like this. I want something that is consistent, and this is consistent. This is cooler than the speed gear for bushes, in my opinion, because you can use it whenever, as long as you have your ammo. Resistance gear. Stun and slows from enemies are reduced by 50%. This works on tanks. They should add this back. It would be good for an epic gear. They didn't need to remove it. Honestly, give it to me. This is awesome. Reload gear. Reload speed is increased by 12%. This works on marksmen. Isn't this in the game already? I guess they're changing which brawlers it goes on to. Escape gear. Here. Gain a 15% movement speed buff for two seconds after taking damage. And this is given to like Barley, Dynamite, Tick, the throwers basically, so they can escape once they get hit. These are good ideas. I like these, and I really wish that these would be in the game, but they're probably not gonna be, which is really sad, bro. Healing gear. Heal 150 health per second when under 50% health. This is Pog Champ, bro. I want this. I need more. This stuff is really cool. Sharpness gear. When ammo is full, the next attack deals 20% more damage. Dude, Pog Champ. I actually don't think this would work very well on Edgar or Buzz because it would glitch and it would just work on one projectile. So in that sense, it would also not work for Leon unless I change the coding. So then it would work on all of their projectiles. But uh, yeah, this is still pretty cool. What about Mythics? Mythic gears remain pretty much unchanged. I think Supercell should honestly treat them like star powers at this point since their similarities are pretty strong. That's true. The Chad Brawl Stars dev team going on vacation after letting loose and unnerfed Cordelius just destroying everybody, bro. It's so sad. Is this good value? I think it has to be an amazing offer. $1 for Whale Watch Nita. Uh, it's worth it if you ignore who made it. You can look that one up for yourself. Should I buy this new offer? 170 gems, 3 Gene Evolve shards, and 40,000 Elite Brawler tokens. That's pretty good. After about one year, they decided to bring it back. Yep, Siege. It's gonna win the poll. We all know it. Like, there's no way that it's not gonna win the poll, and there's also no way that people are gonna hate it this time around. I am confident that it's going to become permanent. I used to be a Siege hater. Now I'm a Siege lover because I just want a larger mode to be in the game. Can you get more invisible than this? Probably not. He's got Leon super active, the Leon totem, and this Andy thing. This has been in the game since season 17. Have we all just ignored it and embraced it for this long? What? Does Sandy drop a lollipop on the ground? Huh? Is that a thing? I don't even know. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, slap like, subscribe. Also, let me know in the comment section how you would want to improve Power League. I'm curious what you guys would want outside of the Reddit post. So uh, yeah, that's that. I'll see you later. Goodbye.